Welcome to Gone Boating. Product review. Well, hello and welcome. I thought I'd do another product review of um, one of the other items I've got for when I'm bobbing about on the boats. And that's something that um, I think most people have for the boat on board. And that is, of course, the knife. It seems a simple item, often overlooked, but lots of uses, particularly uh, for uh, on the sailing vessels, they use them a lot. Um, and the knife I'm going to talk about today, the one I have, is fantastic. Now, forgive me if I absolutely murder the name. I think it's Czech in origin, but it's an American um, knife. B100 Pro. Let's have a little look. I love the box it comes in. It's got little magnetic catches just along here and it actually just snaps closed really nicely. Um, nice little feature. But here's a knife itself. It's got, I think what they call, um, it's the pro blade i think there are about three or four different types of blade this is the pro and it basically just means i think you can see it there it's got the serrated edge um, which means that it can cut through um, rope uh, particularly the nylon stuff that we have nowadays um, all the synthetic um, versions it cuts through that very quickly it's got what they call a composite handle. So this is what they say is a G10 material. It's man-made, but it's absolutely tough as steel. It feels actually as hard as the blade itself, but very, very comfortable in the hand. Um, a really um, nicely weighted knife. Actually, it only weighs about 118 grams, or I think that's what, six, six something ounces for non-EU people watching this but really comfortable in the hand. And the other feature I like about it, I'm not sure if this bit that runs through the handle is called the steel, but it's got this little eye here, which combined with the sheath just here, which is a lovely leather, solid and robust and well-made piece of kit, means that you can actually um, tie a lanyard um, from the knife to the sheath um, so that, um, makes it less easy to drop overboard. Um, or if like me, if you tend to spend most of your time on a rib, you really don't want to be dropping this into the Hyperlon or PVC um, sides of the rib. Um, you'll find it deflating very quickly. It's got not a sharp point on the knife because you don't really need that for boating activities. This isn't for skewering meat. This is um, for being able to cut lines and um, things like that. Um, particularly if you get stuff fouled around the prop. Um, I do motor boating, so I'm less involved with having to worry about um, tangled ropes and things um, around the sail but certainly things around the engine, potential things that can stall the motor, um, get wrapped around it, all sorts of things, floating rope, lobster pots, you name it, um, the risk is there. So a really good sharp serrated edge, absolutely fantastic. It's made out of a very high grade carbon steel. Um, it's got quite a high carbon content um, to make the um, um, edge nice and sharp and strong although it does mean that it can be prone to surface corrosion. So what they recommend for this is to use one of those water repellent sprays. Um, I'm going to name the brand, of course, that we all know and love, WD-40. Give it a spray with that. Give it a, that'll keep it protected. But any stainless steel cleaner should have it shining nice and bright again. The sheath. Nice little handy bit on the back so you can clip that to your belt. Really good. And then it's got the additional um, little placement here for the Marlin Spike. I don't really use those. It's more, I won't say more traditional, um, but it's more typical on a sailing boat. Uh, now I'm going to have lots of comments <laughs> saying, nope, I'm on a motorboat, use this all the time for tying different things with the ropes. Um, I don't really use it, but it is really nice to have and it's great for unpicking knots actually. Um, if you've got a, a rather sodden rope that's been tied up for ages, um, they're usually very difficult to get the 
not undone, depending on who's done it or how it's been tied. Um, and these are really great for unpicking them. And it's got a nice little location here, so it just pops in there, if I can actually do it one handed, sorry about that. That pops in there, keeps it out of the way, but handy should you need to use it. I'll probably put that in the wrong way, I think. Yes, I have, that's why I didn't slide in. I've got it upside down, no problems. I'll use the magic of editing to get that removed and make it look like I know what I'm doing. Absolutely fantastic. Really love this knife. I have had it out. Um, I've taken it out and about on the rib. As I say, just need to be careful not to drop it. Um, inside the rib is fine because the floor's pretty hardy. Haven't dropped it yet, but then I quite like the idea of being able to tie a lanyard so that if it does slip out of the hand, it's not really going anywhere. It's just gonna probably dangle at your leg, slicing into that. But um, that's preferable to um, slicing into the um, into the rib itself. Um, it doesn't take me too long to heal and typically doesn't cost me much money. Um, slicing a hole in the rib will probably cost an absolute fortune to have the sponsons redone, so I'd rather that didn't happen. So a really nice feature to have this to be able to tie onto, um, onto the sheath, which is connected to you or your belt. So there it is, that is the B100 Pro with a GT, uh, with a GT, it could be a Grand Tourer, with a GP110 handle. You can get it in different versions, there's a um, very nice wood handle for it, and you can also get it in the white version I think. Although these tend to be the more popular, simply because um, the people that use them aren't so bothered about the aesthetic of it. It's a practical tool that they use throughout their day-to-day -day activities, and so it needs to be function, and these knives absolutely provide that in uh, dividends. Absolutely amazing knife, so really love it. So if you are looking for one, I can highly recommend these. Um, <laughs> again, disclaimer, I am not sponsored by these. Um, this ad was purchased. They are relatively expensive. I think it's about, for this pack, um, it's, I think it's about 120 pounds or so. I'm not sure what it is in dollars. I think it might actually be cheaper being as it's American. Um, you can probably get it in, in America without having to worry about the um, import tax. Not inexpensive for a knife, but then I guess chefs out there who have been looking at that and saying, that's a lot of kit for a knife. You should see what we have to pay for them. I do think it's worth it. Real nice feel in the hand. Not too heavy, not too light, uh, not too light. got a, a good balance to it. Absolutely great knife. So if you are in the market for a knife, this is certainly the one I use. Um, you can get the folding blade versions, you can get much smaller versions, of all sorts of different designs. Um, this is the one that I went for. Absolutely love it and don't regret having it. One thing I forgot to mention was, if like me, you're pre-GPS, the blade is slightly magnetic, so don't go popping it near your compass, otherwise you might find yourself going in a slightly different direction to the one you expected. And as always, if you liked what you see and want to see some more, please do like, subscribe. It really helps that algorithm that I don't understand, um, but apparently it really does uh, make a difference. So click those buttons. Thanks a lot. See you next time.